Hi there. I welcome you all in this learning video. In the previous learning videos, we have seen functionals depending on the first order derivative. And in such cases, we have functional of the type like x, y, y dash. So this is the functional we have, right? Now, I would like to tell you the topic that we are going to take as the name itself says, functionals dependent on higher order derivatives. So here, instead of my this functional, my functional would be x, y, y dash, y double dash, y triple dash, depending on, okay, the given problem. If, if my functional is this, what is my Euler's equation? This is functional and this is Euler's equation. Okay, so for this functional, you might have remember the fun, uh, the Euler equation for this functional that is del f by del y minus d dx of del f by del y dash is equal to 0. Is it? Yeah. So for this functional, we have this, but now we will be having functional of the type like this. Suppose, so for such type of functional, what would be? my Euler's equation, it would be del f by del y minus d dx of del f by del y dash plus plus d2 by dx square of del f by del y double dash is equal to 0. Okay? Now, follow the alternate sign plus minus plus minus. Now, suppose I have a functional like this, functional function of uh, x, y, y dash, y double dash and y triple dash. Suppose I am having this functional. So for this functional, what would be my Euler equation? So I want you to just pause the video for few seconds, try to write down the Euler's equation and resume the video. So I hope you might have written the Euler's equation. So help me out in writing down the Euler's equation for such type of functionals. So it would be del f by del y, very good, minus d dx of del f by del y dash, correct. What would be the next term? d2 by dx square of del f by del y double dash minus d3 by dx cube of del f by del y triple dash is equal to 0, right? So, this would be the Euler's equation and I hope you might have written the same equation that I have written, okay? Likewise, for, for, for the functional involving more higher derivatives, one term will get added to this Euler's equation, okay? So, now, let us take a problem on this uh, higher order functional dependent on higher order derivatives. So, look here now. We are given a functional and we have to find out its extremal. Okay. So, the method of solving would be same as uh, the previous. Okay. So, what is f here? Here my f is 16y square minus y double dash square plus x square. Okay, so this is my given, this is my given functional. Okay, now once you are done with this, what would be the next step? Find out all the derivatives that we want in the Euler's equation. So what is it? Find out del f by del y. What is del f by del y? Is 16 into y square. Derivative of y square is 2y. That is 32y. Next, derivative of f with respect to y dash. So, derivative of f with respect to y dash. Is there a term of y in this? No. So, derivative would be 0. Correct. And what would be? Uh, sorry. Del f by del y double dash. Is there a term of y double dash? No. Is there a term of y double dash? Yes. So, it is minus 2y double dash. And derivative of this with respect to y dash is 0. Okay. 
after getting these uh, values we just have to write down the extremals are given by extremals are given by extremals are given by Euler's equation Euler's equation what is that Euler equation del f by del y minus d dx of del f by del y dash plus d2 by dx square of del f by del y double dash is equal to 0. Simple. Now substitute the values. So del f by del y I have 32 y. Okay. Minus d dx of what is del f by del y dash? That's 0. Plus d2 by dx square of del f by del y double dash minus 2y double dash is equal to 0. So this is nothing but 32y minus 2 already 2 derivatives and already 2 derivatives are outside. So this is y 4 dash is equal to 0. Now what I am going to do here is I am going to write this uh, uh, equation in terms of operator D and what is my D? My D stands for operator D D X. Okay, so what is this? We can write this one as thirty two Y minus two D four of Y. Okay, now what you can do? Take it, uh, divide by 2 and uh, rearrange the equation and we getting d4 minus 16 operating on y is equal to 0. Okay. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to solve this equation. This is higher order ordinary differential equation with constant coefficient. So, we know how to solve such type of problems. Is it? So we just have to find out the complementary function and particular integral. But as you can see on the right hand side of this equation, it is 0. So we just have to find out the complementary function. That would be my general solution uh, of this equation and the extremal for the given problem. So it's, okay, it's auxiliary equation is. m to the power 4 minus 16 is equal to 0. Okay, that is the auxiliary equation. Now, if you, if you want to find manually, you can find out manually or you can find out with the help of calculator. The roots of this equation are m is equal to plus minus 2 and plus minus 2 iota. Okay, if you have any problem whether these uh, roots are correct or not you can just substitute here m is equal to 2 2 power 4 16 minus 16 0 minus 2 power 4 again 16 minus 16 0 plus 2 i 2 power 4 is 16 i power 4 is 1 16 minus 16 is 0 and likewise okay so with the help of this now we'll write down the complementary function that would be the uh, general solution of this okay therefore therefore y is equal to what is it for this c1 e to the power 2x plus c2 e to the power minus 2x plus for complex roots e to the power 0x c3 cos 2x plus c4 sin 2x where where what are the c1, c2, c3, c4? These are the arbitrary constants. Okay. So if you want, you can just write here where c1, c2, c3 and c4 are arbitrary, arbitrary constants. Constants. So, this is nothing but the general solution for this equation, okay, and this is also a required extremal for the given problem. So, you can just add, this is the required 
this is the required extremal okay now I would like to give you one problem that you should uh, try so let me see where is the problem okay so let me give you one try this problem so that you can solve on a very similar lines try this find the extremal find the extremal of the functional find the extremal of the functional what is my functional the functional is given to you v of y x is equal to integration x1 to x2 or it is integration from 0 to 1 let me write x1 to x2 1 plus y double dash whole square dx 1 plus y double dash whole square dx ok so this is the problem and you have to find out the extremal for this functional so I hope this is clear to you and you can if you can able to solve this problem with the help of previous one so it it can imply it implies that uh, you have understood the things if not then learn again and then again try to solve till you succeed okay so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day thank you